Hello everyone, student Dr. Siddiqui here. Today we're going to continue our discussion of the anatomy of the lower limbs. So we're going to start off talking about the posterior thigh muscles first. There are three muscles in the posterior thigh muscle, the biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. These muscles are called the true hamstring muscles. They attach at the hip at both the hip and the knee joints. They're innervated by the tibial branch of the sciatic nerve and all three originate from the ischial tuberosity. So the first we're going to take a look at is the biceps femoris. Bi means two, so the biceps femoris consists of a long head and a short head. The, taking a look at the long head first, um, we notice that the point of origin is the ischial tuberosity in the sacrotuberous ligament. It inserts at the head of the fibula and its function is extension and stabilization of the hip joint. The biceps femoris short head has a point of origin at the linea aspera and the lateral supracondylar line of the femur. It inserts at the head of the fibula, which is the same region where the long head of the biceps femoris attaches. So both of them have the same ins uh, insertion point. And the function of the biceps femoris is to work together with the long head in order to cause flexion at the knee joint and external rotation of the knee joint. And also note that the short head does not cross the hip joint, hence it is only the long head of the biceps femoris that's, that causes the extension of the hip. The posterior thigh muscles, as we mentioned, um, include the long head of the biceps femoris, semimembranosus and semitendinosus, and they're also known as the true hamstring muscles. These are all innervated by the tibial branch of the sciatic nerve. However, the short head of the biceps femoris, it is innervated by the fibular branch of the sciatic nerve. The semimembranosus muscle, its point of origin is the ischial tuberosity. It inserts at the medial condyle of the tibia and its function is extension of the hip joint, flexion of the knee joint, and internal rotation of the knee joint. Semitendinosus muscle, its point of origin is the ischial tuberosity and the sacred tuberous ligament. It inserts at the pes anserine, which is located on the medial aspect of the tibial tuberosity, and its function is extension of the hip joint, flexion of the knee joint, and internal rotation of the knee joint. So in summary, the hamstring muscles, what are they? The long head of the biceps femoris, semimembranosus, and semitendinosus. And what nerve innervates these true hamstring muscles? It is the tibial branch of the sciatic nerve. So what about the short head of the biceps femoris? Is it innervated by the tibial branch? No, it's actually innervated by the fibular branch of the sciatic nerve, and so it is not considered the true hamstring muscle. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that this video was helpful. Please tune in for more great videos.